And time now to take a look at our weather. Boy, we're glad yesterday's gone, but hey, something else is coming. Something else is coming. It's always something, That's right? just our luck. Right, Derek? You've been tracking this system, though. Yeah, it just seems like it's just rapid fire. These storms keep coming just every couple of days. The difference with this one, though, is it's going to be in and out of here very quickly. I don't expect as much rain with this one as it moves through, but we're still going to have some wind issues with this storm as it moves through the area. And, of course, with all the rain that we've had lately, Likely going to be some flooding issues as well. So let's go right to it and show what's going on now. Our live Doppler radar here showing dry conditions across the region. It'll stay that way here through the day tomorrow. But the main takeaways here for tonight is the fact that we're going to see this storm moving into the area by Friday evening. So at this point, it looks like after dark. Friday is when the rain's going to move in. So if you have plans that if you need to do stuff for throughout the day Friday, you should be fine. It's not until Friday evening that the rain's going to move in. We expect the winds to increase through Friday night, early Saturday morning, and they'll stay windy even into Saturday afternoon and Saturday evening. But uh, more strong winds, more potential for coastal flooding, more potential there for some freshwater flooding as well. But it's all going to move out by early Saturday morning. The rain that is, the winds won't be coming down anytime soon. Temperatures into the 40s across most of the state, 20s out in far west. Maryland, and we've got a west wind now at about 5 to 15 miles an hour. And again, it's going to stay a little bit on the breezy side through tomorrow morning, so it may feel like the upper 20s to around 30 when you wake up. I do think that we're going to see mainly partly to mostly cloudy skies. There will likely be some sunshine at some point during the day tomorrow. We should end up around 50 degrees, but these low clouds that you see here are notoriously difficult to forecast when they'll break up, so I would not be surprised even in tomorrow morning if they're still there. But we certainly hope to get a pleasant surprise, and when you wake up, they're not there anymore. We actually have some sunshine for a change because the clouds are going to be moving back in. You can see the uh, cloud cover associated with this next storm system approaching Lake Tahoe and Reno, Nevada, right now, as the uh, system now digs through California and Nevada. And that's the one that's going to eventually develop into a big storm in the middle section of the country. Blizzard conditions expected for Chicago, Milwaukee tomorrow, back towards Omaha, Nebraska. And on the warm side, severe weather down on the Gulf Coast in the southeast U.S. And we're kind of going to be in the between, so that means more rain for us. Now, I think this is how Friday is going to play out. In the morning, we'll have some peaks of sunshine. It'll be dry. No issues there. Midday. Around lunchtime, still dry, but the clouds will be increasing across the area. And then we're going to see it uh, start to, at least the rain start moving to the region right around the 7, 8 o'clock time frame. So sunset right around 5 o'clock, still dry then, but then rain moving in around 7 ish, if you will. And it should last through the overnight hours. And we're going to see those patches of heavy rain and some gusty winds as well, getting some gusts over 30 to 40 to 50 miles an hour at times. So here's your future cast. Tomorrow looks like it's going to be fine. Here come the clouds midday Friday. And then here comes the rain. This is 7 o'clock Friday evening. Notice where all the rain is. Western Maryland, out towards parts of northern Virginia, and then it spreads across the region. This is 11 o'clock. So remember, 7 o'clock, it was southwest of us. Then here's 11 o'clock. So that's where some of the heaviest rain is going to be falling right around midnight. 1 a.m., rain beginning to exit the area. And notice by morning on Saturday, it's all gone, but it's still going to be breezy out there. Now, as I mentioned, we're not going to see as much rain out of the system. Notice forecast models starting to come into focus here, and we're seeing generally about an inch. Some are a little bit lower than that, but about a half an inch to an inch, maybe some spots getting a little bit more than that, so not the two and a half to four inches that we saw with this last system. Here are your wind gusts here. Peak wind should be right around midnight, a couple of hours either side of that. We'll see some wind gusts there approaching. Uh, 40 to 50 miles an hour at times. And then even into Saturday afternoon, it's still going to be windy. Look at these uh, gustily westerly winds, 30 to 40 miles per hour. So kind of similar to what we had today. So we'll be watching this system for you. That's why we have the alert day in effect for Friday. And again, the alert day is for Friday night and early Saturday morning. Then the rest of the weekend looks fine. Colder on Sunday, and then next week the focus is going to be potentially a chance for some light snow Monday into Tuesday, and then bitterly cold temperatures, maybe wind chills down into the single digits by Wednesday morning. We'll keep you updated. How exciting, right? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> hey, it's the winner. Derek, thank you so much for more first alert weather and updated news. Check out what Cena Gabber add. Tim Williams and Amy Kawada tomorrow morning on WJZ. That's starting at 4:30.